Hey guys, so I decided to make a second Last Epoch Mods offline video to clarify some things to make it easier for people to understand. So basically, uh, I'll, I'll go as quickly as possible for this, but um, I'll also show the mod menu also. But basically, and I'll show how to do this offline properly now with the new updated version. So you're going to go to the Nexus Mods, Last Epoch Mods. You're going to go download the Last Epoch Mods one. You're gonna go download Melon Loader. You're gonna go open beta over here and then download the XC. Have that ready. Click download for this. Have this uh, file ready. That's for the last epoch mods. It's gonna be a little RAR file. And you have Melon Loader. This will be the two files. Next up, you're just gonna simply, you can also pause this. Um, so basically, you're going to go to your game file and it's always gonna be over here in salt file settings, browse. Um, that'll pop up, and so basically, that's your Steam file. You're gonna copy your last epoch file. You're going to create a new last epoch folder, for instance, right? And so for me, I have mine over here, last epoch modded. What you don't want to do though, so I have a for an old version and a new version. You can't have two things in the same folder. It has to be one. So it could only be like this. So in the new folder, you're just going to paste the uh, new version of Last Epoch. Then you're going to open up Melon Loader, which is right here. And then with Melon, Lo Melon Loader, you need to select the modded location, of course, the XC for it. And then you're not going to do 6.2. Deselect latest, you're going to do 5.7 and then install. Now, once you've done that, you're literally almost done. All you have to do is open up Last Epoch Mods, go to Install Location, go to your Install, and then your Mod section, you're simply going to chuck that into there like that. And then you're basically done. So, now here's how to basically launch it in the offline mode. Uh, it's, it's actually pretty easy. Um, so you have your last epoch modded file location right here. Uh, you're simply going to copy it. Um, you're going to go to your last epoch game. And, and remember, this is your second save file location with the melon loader and everything on it. And this will bypass all of the uh, online screen and everything. So no risk of ban or anything like that. So here, settings, properties. Uh, play full offline. You're going to type in this command, right? And then, so you're going to do dash and then last epoch xe dot exe. And then we're going to do uh, uh, apostrophe and another one right there and space. And then command. Now, once you do it like this, um, and yours will be probably different install location than mine, just make sure you simply copy, paste, last epoch XC. Do a little things in between, and different sentences at, between the command. So you're on playful offline now. You're good to go. You can launch the game. Your game's already updated. So what's gonna happen is this menu is gonna pop up. That means that your game's good. Um, a lot of people were complaining about the game not working. I mean, uh, I just did it first try um, with the new modded uh, update version. And let me double check my OBS is showing my correct game. So, I'm going to show you how to do the menu really quickly. So, as you can see, we're in the game. So, first off, go into the game. Um, and there's a couple of things you have to do. Uh, you're going to be correspond to the character, you know, menu of, like, you know, go through the tutorial, all that. You don't have to do any of that. Um, just hit escape. 
uh, you're gonna go to your character and then all of this right here Scott, complete main quest reset masteries if you need to I'll add all the glyphs and everything add affixes discover all the blessings unlock all the idols you can level up god mode force yourself to have low life for certain builds change your class if you want um, go to hardcore you can you know change like certain difficulties and stuff like that uh, you have your movement speed damage attack speed casting speed you know you're just you're pretty much anything you can think of in terms of like character uh, enhancements items you can change your item drop rates of everything which is really fun um, and it auto pickups pretty much everything in the area so you don't have to actually click anything anymore um, personally for me I usually prefer to turn these off just to make the game more generic and then I spawn in the items that I like to that I want to use for my build and then like if I find something better I do but you know I, I typically try and just like spawn in something that's gonna work for what I need um, and yeah, and I go from there. And then for scenes, so this is like for mob density and everything like that for the actual maps. No need to go into that. Force drop, you can literally force drop any fucking item in the entire game. Pardon my first. Um, it's astronomically awesome. Uh, anything you need. Any rarity, any, you know, anything. And then, so, say... For instance, uh, I need a unique, uh, I don't know, a unique soul fire, right? Um, uh, let's see here, no, let's not do unique, let's do, let's do a basic here, a base item, right? Okay, so, this is how you would add, uh, your implicits and seals, you know, your, um, things to your items. So you can add a seal to basically enhance it in a way, you know what I mean? Um, and then the av here's your prefixes and suffixes. So you can pretty much add anything in the entire game you can think of here. And then just select that again, it was a little laggy. But you can select all four uh, for your, your um, item and then it drops. Uh, and you can do that for any um, item pretty much uh, well not unique of course but like uh, let's see here I get the idea uh, well I do want to show you an example actually so we'll do a legendary um, Some gloves. Legendary. Okay, so say you wanted to spawn something like that. Just choose prefixes, whatever. If you needed this item, uh, you can literally make anything to your heart's desire. Implicits are how like the scales in terms of like the number, uh, how high you want it to roll from, and everything. And same thing with all the modifiers and the quantities, just like how many drops. Uh, no need to really go past that, it's pretty easy to understand. Um, but yeah, you just yeah, you can mess around with it, it's fun. Uh, and then for treats and skills, you know, you've got to like remove mana cost, anything, you know, pretty much like character stuff also. Um, pathing things like uh, you can do, you know. Uh, add more uh, major skills, more you know minion options, and then it, the coolest part about this mod, of course, is a headhunter. So you can basically change how a headhunter uh, interacts with the game here. So you basically it used to be on the other one, you could have different modifiers for the headhunter. But it seems now it's a bit different. Uh, but yeah, I'm guessing it's going to. Yeah, so no longer can you select the, the actual modifiers. I'll show you what I mean on my. Uh, I didn't even spawn a good one back when you could. 
but I can always get a real old version and do it. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, that's pretty much how the mod works. I uh, hope I made this video easy and, uh, e you know, helpful for people to understand and things like that. So, uh, thanks for watching. Peace. Oh yeah, if you want to see my build. That's right. That's just impossible. So I've got a mixed build of uh, literally two passive skills combined into one. <laughs>